Wait. Uh, this is Jason Toll, Educational Technology Coordinator at Thompson Rivers University. And I am new to Thompson Rivers uh, and very happy to be here today coming, recording this video from uh, the traditional territories of Salix Okanagan peoples coming to you from a little place called Meadow Valley which is right outside of Summerland. I am pleased to report that I am in the process of moving, moving to the traditional territories of the Sewipmik people um, and will be joining folks in Kamloops in just a couple of short weeks and I am very excited about that. Uh, so this is my intro video and I'm demonstrating today a kind of video called, I mean I like to call it a whiteboard video for lack of a better term and I am not using a whiteboard obviously but I am drawing and recording uh, my voice over the video regardless of what you're drawing on and there's many ways to um, achieve this kind of effect from using actual whiteboards, uh, drawing on paper. Um, you can set this up on a wall. Uh, and there are software solutions uh, as well, which are very interesting. And if you stick with this series uh, till the end, our fourth installment is going to be looking at a kind of whiteboard drawing tile style video that's called a light board video and so we're pretty excited about getting this tech up and running and ready for TRU faculty so I guess one of the advantages to uh, to this style of video is that you can really bring together pictures symbols, uh, anything drawn, and text. So I can write, draw. I don't need to be making art. Typically, I just want to show something to my students. Uh, it might be a formula. It might be a graph. Um, but this idea of presenting information that is visual is sort of an underlying requirement for why you would even want to do this type of video. These are quick, easy to make. It's real time. I like to think of them also as a back of the napkin video. If I just need to explain a concept quickly um, to somebody, I'm gonna try to find some material and just show them what I'm talking about. And they are, um, also good for telling stories. So uh, this is not, I mean, this is really a story about, about myself and the video presentation uh, series that we're gonna be sort of discussing this summer. And um, so those are some of the advantages. Now, what do you need to prepare for this type of video? There's a few things. The first is you may want to get an actual document camera. So this is separate from my webcam and uh, it allows me to position the camera in such a way that, you know, it's over my drawing surface. Now I've certainly seen people set this type of video up even using their cell phone. So if you have a phone with a camera, um, you might not need to go to the expense of a document camera. You can get some really good ones uh, for not too expensive though. Um, so that's something different. This is a different camera source than my webcam. The next thing you're gonna need to think about in the setup is just lighting. So you can even see on this video, I've got some shadows that I'm dealing with and I've tried to make it as balanced as possible. I don't need any fancy lights for this. It's more about getting the setup um, 
so the visuals look good, whatever it is you're drawing on. Next, you will need your drawing material. So this really should be anything that you prefer to use. What's your favorite? Um, you know, do you draw on the whiteboard typically when you're doing your lectures? Because you should try to go along with what you're comfortable with and what you are, what you're good at. Um, you may also want to take into consideration how it shows up on the video. So you've noticed I've chosen some very bold colors and I'm keeping things very simple. And last but not least, you are going to need a plan. So even though these are quick and easy to make, I want to make them short and I want to make them um, as efficient as possible. I don't want a lot of rambling, which is tough for me. So I may practice, I may actually set up a template and walk through the steps that I intend to draw and I may practice this a couple of times until I know all the pieces are working correctly. Um, anyway, I think that is it for my introductory video. I'm looking forward to engaging in a conversation about teaching with video.